So welcome to Photoshop. Today we're going to use this giraffe photo to do the parallax effect. So this is pretty easy and you can do everything you need to do in Photoshop. However, I will say actually doing the video portion in Final Cut or Adobe Premiere is probably easier and quicker. Working on a Mac here, I'd probably use Final Cut. The render times are pretty long in Photoshop, even for something simple like this. So the first thing we're going to do is take this image and we're going to split it in two. We're going to split it into the foreground, which is the giraffe, and the background, which is going to be the sky. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command J. And let me slide this down here. So we have two layers. And so we're going to go ahead and cut this giraffe out. And we'll see how well Photoshop can do this. We'll come up here and select Subject. And it should recognize the giraffe and cut it out and it did a pretty good job and so we'll go in here and hit select mask and I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and we're just gonna go ahead and use the hairbrush to kinda get any of these little bits of hairs in this image to kinda clean it up a little bit so this looks pretty good I'm just gonna swipe over this any area I think it needs to kinda pick up maybe in here a little bit and I'm going to reduce the size of the brush and then just kind of come up here. See if we can get a little bit better feather or selection in there. So it looks pretty good. We're going to output this as a new layer. So just new layer. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So if you come up here, you can see now we have this giraffe as a new layer. But I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn the background layer off. And, but I'm going to turn this middle layer on. We don't really need this background layer, but we're going to keep it here just in case we want it. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I actually want to make the selection of the giraffe again. So I'm going to come up here and just go ahead and I command click or control click on this layer to, so it will select this giraffe. But I actually want to apply this selection down here, not up here. So we're going to come here and we're going to go to select, modify, and expand. And basically I want to make this selection bigger than it is. So I'm going to try 40 because 30 didn't work so good last time. So you can see we've expanded that selection. Then we're going to come up here and go to one of the new functions in Photoshop, which is Content Aware Fill. And we have this kind of set up here it's giving us a preview of what it's gonna look like that looks good to me so we're gonna apply this to the current layer which is what I want to do and I'm gonna hit OK and so content aware is gonna go ahead and fill that in I can turn this off up here so we can see what it looks like in just a second so we'll let it run itself through it looks pretty good I'll turn this off and you can see Photoshop did a pretty good job of filling that in so I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. So we just have a couple areas in here that we could blend a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my opacity up there. We're going to just use this clone stamp brush because it's just quick and easy. And we'll just kind of blend this in. Doesn't need to be super perfect for a tutorial. All right, so that looks pretty good. So I've got this kind of filled in so we can't tell where the giraffe was and that's exactly what we need. We have now the giraffe on one layer and this on another layer. So I'm actually gonna come up here and go to new. And we wanna make a video. So we're gonna to go to film and video and we want this 1920 by 1080 because that's how I'm gonna output this. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click that and we've got this new file. So what we're gonna do is go back over to this layer. I'm going to shift click. So select the one layer you want, select the next layer that you want. And we need to make sure we have the move tool and we're just gonna drag these files up here I'm gonna hold down shift so it pastes it in place and you can see the files are much larger than the original size which is perfectly fine because I kind of want that so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come out here I'm going to right click and I'm gonna change this to a smart object come out here right click turn this at to a smart object 
Okay, so I have both of these as smart layers. And these smart layers are going to allow us to size these images up and down without loss of resolution. So I'm going to turn the top layer off just so that we're on the cloud layer. And I'm going to hit Command T and I'm going to hold down the Alt Option key, which is new in Photoshop, and scale this. If you have an older one, you're going to need to do Shift Alt to do this. But this is the new version and you just have to hold Alt. They've changed it and I am not used to it yet. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here to the draft layer and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit Command T. I'm just going to hold Option. I'm going to scale this image and I'm going to make it smaller than it was. And I'm going to hit Return. And then we're just going to go ahead and move the little giraffe guy to right about there. It's going to be our starting point from this, for this image. And we're going to take this background layer and just dump it because we're not going to use that. So the next thing we're going to do is get the timeline up in Photoshop. So we're going to come up here and drop down to timeline. And my timeline is here. I'm going to try to lower that down. So we're going to create video timeline, not animation, video timeline. And I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And it's automatically going to load these two layers in here. It looks like it's got this going for about a few seconds. So the first thing we're going to do is work on this first layer. So this first layer, I want the giraffe to go from small to big. So we're going to come up here and click on this layer and click on the drop down arrow. And I'm going to select the transform button. This, you need to make sure your timeline arrow is all the way to the left. When I do this, it's setting a keyframe, which is what we want. We're going to slide this all the way over here. And then I'm going to hit Command T. And now we're going to transform the giraffe up. So I'm going to make him bigger. And maybe make him go up a little bit as well. And we'll say, OK, that looks good. And I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to set an oop, need to hit return. And it's going to set another keyframe, which we have right there. So you can see as I slide this down, it's getting bigger and smaller. So what we're going to do for the sky is the opposite effect. Right now, we're going to stay way over here. We want this to go from smaller to larger here. So we're going to come down and select transform again. That's going to set that keyframe. I'm going to move it all the way back and I'm going to hit Command T. I'm going to hold down Alt key and I'm going to make this bigger. Then I'm going to hit return and that's going to set another keyframe. So now if I hit play, you can see one is going to zoom out and one is going to zoom in. Now this is longer than I want this to play for. So we're going to go ahead and drag this over here to about two seconds and we will drag this over here to about two seconds we'll drag this keyframe over and we're going to drag this keyframe over and we'll try that again go ahead and hit return and there's the parallax effect now it's stuttering a little bit this is it dropping keyframes um, there we go. It's moving a little bit better there. And so here we can see this loop. So what I'm going to do once I've got this kind of all ready to go and we're assuming that I'm happy with this. So the next thing I'm going to do is come over here to these little drop down arrows and I'm going to render this video out. So we're going to come down here to render video. And so we will call this draft and this is just going to my desktop which is good so this is using the adobe media encoder for 264 youtube at 29.9 frames per second and you've got a whole bunch of different stuff but that's going to be fine for me document size is going to be hd frame rate 21.97 field order we're going to use progressive and everything else looks pretty good so we're going to go ahead and hit render now, this takes a while in Photoshop. In any other program, it's not going to be quite as long. So I'm just going to let this run, and I will come back when it is finished.
So that's done rendering there. So we'll come in here to the desktop. You can see here's the giraffe. I'll bring this up. We'll go ahead and play. And there's your parallax effect for this giraffe. I'll play it again. Now you can do this the opposite way. You could have the giraffe be bigger and go to smaller and the opposite of that. You could do this with two completely different images, but if you want to go ahead and make the parallax effect or make two images that are from a photo move, this is how you do it inside Adobe Photoshop. So hopefully that's helpful. Any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.